Hello. Our storybook today is called Beyond the Fence by Maria Gulamatova. Piggy lives in a big house with Thomas. Thomas talked a lot and Piggy had to listen. Thomas knew what suited Piggy. He always knew what they should play. He just knew. One day, Thomas's cousin came to visit. Piggy took a walk. Nice to meet you, said Wild Pig. Why have you wrapped yourself up? Do you mean these, said Piggy? They're called clothes. Don't they get tangled when you run through the bushes? No, I never run. Oh, but running is fun. You should try it. We can run together. I'd love to, but I have to go home now. Please, will you come again? I will. There's Piggy at the window, dreaming of his meeting with his friend Wild Pig. Piggy kept going to the place where he met Wild Pig, but he was never there. Then one evening, I'm sorry I didn't come sooner, said Wild Pig. I fell into a trap and it took me a few days to get out. Shall we run in the forest? I'd love to, but I'm not allowed to go beyond the fence. Really? Well then. I'll come back for another chat tomorrow at sunset. That would be lovely. The next morning, Thomas's cousin left. What are you making? A forest. That's silly. Come on, you can watch my puppet show. Piggy doesn't look like he's having very much fun, does he? At sunset, Piggy had to listen to a story. He couldn't go and see his friend, Wild Pig. Maybe Wild Pig would come again tomorrow. The next day at sunset, please excuse me for a moment. What's Piggy doing? He's off. He's taking off his clothes. He's running free, running away. Is that silly pig? But Piggy was already beyond the fence.
Thank you to Child's Play International for this lovely story. Hope you're having a good time.